Hey Bass Geek here and today we're going to review OptiCast Pro Buoy System. Guys, this is my review series and I call it Keeper Call. So at the end of every video, we decide whether it's a keeper or whether we're tossing it back. So most of you know my specialty is offshore or structure fishing. And one of the tools you've got to have on your boat when you're fishing offshore is buoy markers. So here's the knock on the old school buoys. They're made of cheap plastic, they weather, they crack, they sink. They've got cheap line on them, they get wedged, the weight sinks them, you don't get them back then. Now you have to remember to get your buoys out, put your buoys up when you get back on plane, or they go flying out of the boat, or worse yet, get tangled in your motor's prop. The old school buoys are really more trouble than they're worth. Well, OptiCast Pro Buoy System attempts to address all the problems with the old school buoy. So let's talk about the buoy itself first. The buoy itself is a cool updated design that feels a lot more durable in the hand. And for good reason, it's filled with foam. So even if the plastic weathers and cracks, this thing is gonna stay afloat. They use high strength braided line. So the buoy is gonna deploy correctly every time. No problem with line wedge. They've added a breakaway swivel, making it easy to retrieve your buoy and save some of your line, which prevents endangering wildlife and saves you some money. Now I've used the OptiCast Pro Buoy system for a couple weeks now and so far I love it. But there's more to the Pro Buoy system than the buoy itself. Let's talk about the M1 stand. The entire system is made up of a ram mount stand, a double magnet M1 base, a Pro Buoy, and a standard DD weight, and an elastic strap for rough water. As you can see, the weight sits in a slot of the buoy while two very strong magnets hold the buoy in place on the M1 mount. Until you have a fish on the line, simply kick the buoy overboard. I've had my boat over 60 miles per hour with not even a wiggle from the buoy. But as you've seen earlier, the buoy comes out easy with a slight kick when needed. Now, if you're in rough conditions, then simply secure it with the elastic safety strap. So what's the final decision? You guys know I only endorse products that I use that help me save time and catch fish more efficiently and faster. Well, this, I believe, does that for me. I fish a lot of offshore structure. I really love to use buoys. It helps me be more efficient. Now, I use my GPS, but when I get a fish on, I really like to have that buoy and kick it overboard just so I can mark it. It's a lot easier to kick that buoy overboard than it is to squat down and try and fight the fish and not give him any slack and, and hit mark on your uh, sonar units. I like the product so much that I contacted the company and I even got a discount code for you guys. They sent me a, uh, some swag, but understand guys, this company doesn't pay me or isn't paying me to do this. This is something that I use, I like, and I believe in. So is it a keeper or cull? It helps me fish more effectively, more efficiently, and it helps me pinpoint fish faster. For me, it's an absolute keeper. Like I said, there's a discount. If you wanna try this out, if you fish offshore, you should really check into it. It's well worth the money. They're gonna outlast the old buoys. As always, guys, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Questions and comments in the comments section. You know I love to talk to you, and you guys rock.